Now, a host of famous faces walked the red carpet last night because it was the Pride of Britain Awards. Now, the event recognises the unsung heroes of the UK who were nominated by members of the public. Well, let's talk to showbiz reporter Ellie Phillips, who was there late into the night and is here <laughs> very early in the morning. Good to see you, Ellie. Um, look, I mean, there was I mean, amazing people who were nominated and who won prizes in, in this last night. I know it's being broadcast later in the week, isn't it? Um, but, you know, the incredible celebrities on the red carpet as well. Yeah, this is a night where stars really turn out because they want to pay tribute to these real-life heroes. And, you know, there are 12 categories. We already know the winners. They've been drip-fed through the past couple of weeks. And like you said, the ceremony will be aired on Thursday at 8 o'clock on ITV. But last night was the big ceremony. Stars packed the red carpet. And they always are willing to talk more about issues that really matter to them, causes that mean a lot to them and so it's a really good time to chat to them because they want to raise awareness for the people there and they want to use their celebrity to draw attention to what really matters so mm. yeah it's really good and um i managed to get quite a lot of chats in good. No, surprise. <laughs> no surprise grabbed everyone and uh one person i spoke to was co-host of the evening carol vorderman and i asked her why the night is so important to her I think with all of the news, as we all know, which hasn't been good and isn't going to be good in the future, that we meet some real heroes who are not into what they do for anything, for themselves, yeah. that it's always for the betterment of other people. So it's, it's a good spirit. Yeah. She, I mean, Carol always gets involved in this, doesn't She's she? She's hosted it since its inception. Mm. And actually, when it first started, there was a mix of awards for politicians and some celebrities. And she turned around afterwards and said, no, it's the people that matter, the real everyday people that do things that are exceptional. And that was what last night was about. Mm. And this is the second year that she's co-hosted it with Ashley Banjo from Diversity. Do you know what? I love Ashley. I've had had him on programmes uh, several times over the years. What a lovely fella he is. So lovely and so warm and so delighted to be back again co-hosting it with him. And as as I said before, the night draws attention to a lot of worthy causes. So when I chatted to him, him on the carpet, I asked him which causes were most important to him. What's interesting about tonight? You think you know what's important to you. You think you know if you've got things that are hard and then you turn up on a night like tonight, you learn the stories and you go, do you know what? Whatever's hard for me, whatever might feel important in the moment, there are so many important things and there are so many incredible people. So like, that's one of the reasons that I love, I just genuinely love tonight. Like it's a real like humbling, like eye-opening experience, 100%. It, it often is eye-opening. I know you've spoken to people who've gone through some some real trauma over the last few years. Tell us your conversation with Kelsey Parker. So Kelsey Parker, for those who don't know, is the wife of the late singer uh, Tom Parker, who was in The Wanted. He died in March, age 33, of an inoperable brain tumour. She has, the whole way through and now, been a campaigner to raise awareness for people with brain tumours and for funding and research. Um, And so it was really heartbreaking for her last night because she was actually there at Pride of Britain last year with him on the red carpet. So this is her first year being there without him, but she stayed strong. And I actually asked her what the future holds for her as a campaigner for those with brain tumours. I'm working on something at the moment, so I'm doing a six part um, series. But for me, I just want to raise as much awareness for brain tumours because they get 1% of funding and the standard of care hasn't been changed in 30 years. There's so much to be done. And I feel like Tom sort of handed me over the baton to continue the legacy because there's so much more that I can actually do and so many people that I can help. And even now with grief, like I'm going through a whole grief journey. Like there's so much that I can do to help people. Mm, I, I... It's so difficult, is it? I'd forgotten he was only 33. Yeah, with two young children as well. Oh. Um, so really, really difficult God. time for her. But it's amazing that, you know, she went last night and I said yeah. to her, you know, is it... Obviously, it's difficult, but seeing other people do inspirational things, does that kind of spur you on to do more? And she was like, absolutely. I'm so here to kind of feel that everyone goes through really bad things and actually Mm. you can make something good out of them. So it was a really, really positive chat with her. It was lovely to see her. Uh, Someone else I spoke to, who people will know, have been through a lot, has been through a lot recently, is Sir Mo Farah. So he had his documentary out recently, um, which was called The Real Mo Farah, where he revealed that he'd been illegally trafficked from Somali as a child. Um, We love him. He's one of our icons. He's a British Olympian. Um, But he's actually quite a shy guy. So I asked him how hard it was for him to open up and be vulnerable for the documentary. 
Yeah, it was hard, honestly. Uh, but you know what inspired me is my kids and my family who helped me uh, discover my journey. And honestly, for many, many years, I always wanted answers. I'm still looking for answers. But again, it's sharing that and, uh, without the support of the, of the public and people. I mean, he was. I, I, he took actually quite a big gamble yeah. doing what he did. You know, and the, the fact that we're still calling him Mo Farah when well, we now know that isn't his name. Exactly. It's all, it's, I mean, it's just a remarkable story. Yeah. And he was really wonderful to chat to on the carpet, really humble, um, really wanted to raise attention to not just what he's been through, and he said, you know, it's not just me. So mm. many people have actually been through this, and it's just good that I can raise awareness as the whole night raises awareness for really key issues. Yeah.